Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and we've got a really weird one today. Uh, I've had a lot of interest lately in uh, non-magic related cards, and it turns out I just really like to open booster packs. And uh, having seen this for the first time last week, I immediately knew I needed to buy this and open it on the channel. This is Boosted Packs from Mischief. Mischief apparently is a uh, art art collective, right? So there's a several people associated with this that are creating art of some kind. This kind of reminds me a bit of uh, like Banksy or basically like kind of a, a weird graffiti art kind of thing. Um, there's 10 packs in here and this is the second edition. Um, this box cost me about 150 bucks actually on eBay. Um, <clears throat> the worth out of here is mainly for um, just novelty purposes. So this is all for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, the idea here is that each pack is supposed to be kind of simulate the experience of finding someone's wallet on the ground and going through it and seeing what's inside. Um, there is a little bit of a chase in here. There are some uh, cards that might uh, be almost worth something to somebody somewhere. So I might give that a try later. But here's what you could potentially get out of this. It's hard to see in the glare. You can maybe get a Chili's gift card, a student ID, a pilot's license, stuff like a Domino's gift card, uh, health insurance card, laundry card, forklift license, a tarot card, and many more. So really interesting, uh, very different take. Um, I believe they have a third series uh, out that is somehow Mariah Carey themed, so that should be interesting. So I'm going to open these up and see what I get and uh, comment down below what you think about these. The second edition of Boosted Packs from Mischief. Here we go. They are for ages 18 and up. Uh, don't let the kids see whatever this is, so let's give it a try. Man, that is some tough packaging, so I might, might need to get some scissors to actually open these. They're very tough, so tell you what, Let's pause right here. All right, here we go. Let's do it the easy way here. And just chop open the pack and see what we get here. Here we got a punch card for Third Rail Coffee. They're not technically punched, though. It looks like they're stamps. They're just a stamp card. On your next one, you can get your, your free cup of coffee. Third Rail Coffee from New York City. <laughs> So I don't know if this was this if this was printed for this set or if they actually reached out to if this is a real company and uh, asked them for these to um, to put in their packs. Like, I get the impression they probably printed these. It's got like a really heavy card stock for like kind of more than what a regular business card would have been. Here's the Alabama Department of Conservation and Nas Natural Resources, certified in 2015. Bear this card has successfully completed the Alabama Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries Bow Hunting Education course. Get it now. There we go. Carol R. Rogers can go bow hunting with this. The instructor is Bingo Bob from Mischief, so this is obviously not a real card that was made. I feel like I'm opening these backwards. That's all right. This is the back of this card. It's the voter information for Helen Stamper. <laughs> Again with mischief. So, there you go. I wonder if that barcode was scanned to anything. This card was issued. It's a Blockbuster membership card. I used to have one of these. Issued at uh, 1508 North Orange Grove. Again, I wonder if the uh, the barcode would maybe work on that. I might have to give those a try. Fun Pass, Hor Horseshoe Junction. Swipe your card here. For Brenham, Texas. That's pretty funny. All right, so that's pack one away. Um, definitely like just like a glimpse at what could be in someone's wallet. It's kind of funny. Maybe we'll get something a little more premium than than that. I get a garbage pail influencer, so I'll definitely be checking that out. Hold on, let's flip this over. It looks like this may be the front. So we got another fun pass, Horseshoe Junction. I wonder if it's got a different number. Nope, number 823 on the end there, so it's an absolute duplicate. Blockbuster from Orange Grove again. Kind of funny. 
Bruce Michael Davidson's social security card. So let's hope that's not real. <laughs> Don't run off to the, the dark web with that, you guys. Um, that's funny. It doesn't say anything like it's not legit, like you would kind of want to do if you were going to do something like this. Tiffany and Company, Reginald Leach is the lead designer of uh, Tiffany and Company. And there's his email address. I wonder if anyone's ever tried to send this guy an email. And then we've got a garbage pail influencer, Jackass James. That's funny. Um, James Charles, is that his name, I think? Garbage pail influencers. Yeah. <laughs> Shave his hairy butt. It's hilarious. All right, I like that one. Okay, next up. Boston Dynamics. Uh, Cyril Dotty, the marketing director for Boston Dynamics. There's his business card. All right, cool. Another third rail coffee. Natural resources business card. Again, we got, well, and there's like an ID card here. And we got Adam Burko from Brown. Student ID <laughs> expires next year. And then we've got a WeWork like company badge. If, if you find this, you send it to Brown University for Adam Burko. Probably a guy that does not exist, I'm guessing. And Jasmine Michaels. Um, maybe this will get you in the building over at WeWork. That's funny. What else we got? Got another Jasmine Michaels. Really need a need a play set of those for sure. There's away away. Jaspreet Patel, another uh, company badge. Here's another one for Lockheed Martin. Prisha Khatri. That's just bizarre. Was that the same Social Security card that we found before? I think so. Patrick Bateman. Oh my God. The vice president. Of Pierce and Pierce mergers and acquisitions. So Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Um, yeah, I would be jealous of this business card for sure. Definitely, I might. That's a keeper for me, probably. Show that I'll hand that to my friends and let them admire it. And. Another blockbuster, the American Museum of Natural History. I'm a member now. I wonder if you could actually take this there and if this would work to get you in the door. I imagine it wouldn't scan up correctly. Another blockbuster card. Same kind of one. So, United States of America, Department of Transportation, Mischief Aviation Administration for Anna J. Andreas. All the info of a pilot's license. Is that what this is? Private pilot certification. There you go. Pilot license. I can go fly with that. I got a parking ticket here. Its vehicle is illegally parked. Blocking driveway. So you just like have this and throw it on someone's uh, car. Freak them out for a minute, I guess. 2004 Chevy Malibu illegally parked. And then the Alabama Department one again. All right. You know, these these packs are pretty like stout. They'd be tough to peel open. Away, Justine Dimitra, Charles Bernard at AI. Is that the name of the company? Stanford University, Allison Lavinia, Laviana. Student ID. Property of the Board of Trustees. And if found, you can send it off to Stanford. Voter ID card. I think that might have been the same one we saw before. And then Christopher Sims again. I've seen that one. Man. Definitely an odd one. Garbage Pail Influencers Jerk Paul. Love it. That looks like a guy who just paid three and a half million dollars for some cards that I would have sold to him for 20 bucks, to be honest. But I have some. Jerk Paul. Indeed. There's a movie stub for Superman Returns from 2006. I probably have one of these hanging around in a junk drawer somewhere. That's really funny. Dyson. 
Brooke Lamprecht. Lamprey? How would you say that name? From Chicago, Illinois. Dyson. Bear Bucks again, I think. Yep, there we go. Adam Burko. And this one. Man, that's an interesting. Soho House. House7.com. New York, New York. Soho House member. I'm going to get into the Soho House with this. And do what? I'm not sure what they do there. So look at club. Sounds like a club. Oop, another Superman Returns. So me and my buddy went and saw Superman Returns apparently. Horseshoe Junction again. Hercules insert. It's like a subway car or something. Reloadable cash card. Treat this as cash. Do not throw away. Do not bend. I have like a couple bucks left on it. The Hunter one card. City University of New York. For Gia. Gia. And another Patrick Bateman card. Cool. I have a stack of these to give away. That's great. Alright. Two packs left. I haven't seen a driver's license yet. I believe there are some chase driver's licenses in here I suppose the hunter one card same lady Nassau County Police Benevolent Association Sergeant James McDermott the president that's really funny reloadable cash card again I believe yep and we've got a Soho house and a valet oh, I could get you in some trouble Koi wiki you just pin this right to your shirt. No one's going to look at the, the face. It just says valet. <laughs> You're the proud new owner of a brand new Porsche, probably, with this thing hanging off of your your shirt. That's, uh, that's dangerous right there. All right. Last pack. Let's see. This is someone's baby picture is in, <laughs> in here. Man, cute kid. All right. An Allstate uh, insurance card. You get in all the accidents you want with this and get the information. Prusa again. And a Blockbuster card and an Extra Care CVS Pharmacy card. Get your prescriptions filled. So that was Boosted Packs. Pretty fun. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to recoup my money from my investment here, but. This was just for fun, and that's what I like to do on this channel. So, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think down below, and uh, smash that like button, and catch you later.